So, next problem is um, Maria Corporation provided the following inventory balances and cost data for the month of July. For um, July 1, direct materials are 30,000, work in process 15,000, and the finished goods is 65,000 pesos. While for July 31, we have materials of 40,000, work in process of 20,000, and finished goods of 50,000 pesos. Production data for the month of July are as follows. We have cost of goods manufactured, 515,000. We have factory overhead applied of 150,000. And then direct materials used of 190,900. And then actual factory overhead of 144,000. The only requirement is to compute the cost of goods sold under actual costing. Pero compute na rin natin yung normal costing. Then, start with the actual costing. We have the cost of goods manufactured of Magkano? 515,000. We have to deduct the overhead applied. Kasi nga laging applied ang ginagamit. So, para makuha natin yung gumagamit ka ng actual costing, bawas natin siya. We have cost of goods manufactured for cost this is the adjusted no 115,000 less we have 3 6 5,000 365. Tapos, we have to add the actual overhead of magkano? 144,000. Zero. Nine. Ten. Carry one. We have 500. 9,000. Then, add tayo ng finished goods. Dahil, tinatanong is the cost of goods sold, no? Finished goods at the beginning. 65,000. Five hundred seventy-four thousand are cost of goods available for sale. And then, less our finished goods at the end of fifty thousand pesos. One, two, three, four, two, five. This is our cost of goods sold. 524,000 pesos. Paano naman kapag ano? Kapag ka-applied. Ito na kasi yung cost of goods uh, manufactured niya eh. Applied kasi ito eh. Add. Finish goods at the beginning. 100. Joke lang. 65. So, we'll have 5 plus um, 5, 10, carry 1. So, 8. 580,000. 
we have this. This is our cost of goods available for sale. Less our finished goods at the end of 50. 530. This is our cost of goods. So, this is up, um, applied costing. Yarn. Oh, next. Problem number four. We have Innova Corporation. And it produces cars that are processed into two departments. We have assembly and then finishing. The following data are available for the year 2020. We have factory overhead. Ang budgeted is 1 million for assembly, 400,000 for finishing. Budgeted direct labor hours, 22,000 for assembly, and 18,000 for finishing. Budgeted machine hours, 35,000 for assembly, and then 15,000 for finishing. Requirements are, first is um, using plant-wide method, what is the factory overhead rate? Using direct labor hour. Second is using plant-wide method, what is the factory overhead rate? Using machine hour. And then determine the factory overhead rate using machine hours in the assembly department and direct labor hours in the finishing department. For number one, Ang ating budgeted, no? Add natin si assembly kasi plant-wide. So, buo ng um, overhead na budget. So, 1 million. At saka, yung 400,000 kay finishing, we have 1.4 million. And then, iti-divide natin sa total na budgeted over, or uh, budgeted activity level of direct labor hours. We have 22 and then 18. So, that is 40,000. So, divided by 40,000. That is 35 pesos per direct labor hour. So, we have 1.4 direct labor So that is 35 per direct labor or tapos ito na yun. Pangalawa we have plant wide pa rin, pero ang gagamitin ay machine hours so 1.4 million pa rin kaso lang ang ating activity level ay um, 35,000 for assembly and then for finishing is 15,000. That is 50 machine or 1.4 divided by 50. That is 28 pesos. No, this is pesos. 28 per machine R. Tapos, yung last, ayan, this is departmental overhead rate. Gagamitin natin ay machine hours kay assembly. Magkano ba yung assembly? 1 million. Ang machine hour na budgeted para sa kanya ay 35,000. So, magkano po ang overhead rate niya? Divided by, gano, 35. 28.57 per machine hour. Tapos, para naman sa kabila, for finishing, 400,000. 
over. Ang gagamitin sa kanya ay direct labor hours. Ang budgeted for finishing ay 18,000. 22.22. That is 22.22 per direct labor hour. This is our answer. Peso sign. Yeah. Yeah. So we're done. Tapos.